What's up? Where everybody at? What's good with you? Shit. I ain't got nothing today. Nah, uh, I plan on dropping something, but uh, I didn't want it to be, uh, I didn't want to drop nothing that was too, too close to the, to the project I just dropped. Might confuse some people, you feel me? They might think it's a part of it or some shit, you know. You know how that shit go. But how y'all doing, man? What's up with y'all, man? What's up with everybody? E Friday. E Friday. That that's that's a fly day. I oh, hope everybody having a nice night. I know it's probably late for a lot of people or later ish. You know. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of this project that I gave. I'm proud of it. Definitely. I'm definitely proud of it. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I just want to make sure that I gave some people some dope shit, man. You know, I always heard that that uh, I can't write song shit. All I do is diss tracks and shit. No. No, I'm well-rounded around here. Well-rounded. <coughs> what anybody got up to? What you got up? How is life? I, I wanted to post some more reactions, man, but I got a... Uh, I'm waiting to see how long it's gonna take for that uh for my uh OAC to go through. And when that go through, I'm uh I'm gonna unprivate all of my reactions and then I'm gonna continue posting and uh doing more of them. You know? Thank you, thank you for real, for real, Amethyst. I appreciate that shit. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I uh, I get a lot of inspiration watching what everybody else do. You know, I get inspiration from uh, people hating. You know, uh, you know, I I'm, I be inspired. You feel me? So now I'm trying to write some new shit, trying to make sure that I, you know, trying to make sure everything is better than the one before. You feel me? Like, I feel like, I feel like B44M is way better than, than personal problem, you know? And even if you don't think the same thing, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm glad anybody fucks with any of it, you feel me? What's good, Amanda? Queen Amanda in the building. Uh huh. I, I apologize if y'all hear dogs barking. It was my neighbors. Them they like these walls is like dead as fuck. And these they they had a they had a dog. I think this nigga be in a closet or something. I don't know. But the boys start barking. Then my dog start barking, and then they just start having this. Have conversation between each other through the walls and shit, you know. Hey, I appreciate it. You know, I, I like, you know, I, but see, I, I I feel like a lot of people. My thing is, I think a lot of people be you know haters, only because of the situation or because they don't know what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? Or, uh, you know, if you just fuck with whoever the hell somebody dissing, you know, shit happens. You know? What's good? Join Dale. What's up? Hey, why are you here? Because I, I was thinking about this earlier. 
Uh, do you know how to chop and screw records? I'm talking about like on some DJ Michael Watts, OG Rod C type. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're familiar with any of these niggas. No idea. But you know, some shit like that. No, nah, it's, nah, it's all good, bro. Somebody somebody told me to ask you. Somebody, somebody had told me I should ask you because I, I, wanted, I wanted my EP chopped, but I don't know if you do that. I used to could do it on my pro. I had a program. I had a virtual DJ program on my laptop a long time ago, and I used to be able to do that shit, like make some like dope-ass quality mixes and chops and shit on that motherfucker. I don't even think that shit around no more. Hey, well, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Help a brother out, because I'm looking for some, you know. I want that bug to chop the screw, bro. I've been listening to a lot of screw music lately. A lot. A lot of, a lot of that. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. What y'all got up this Friday, this lovely Friday? Who all on here drunk? Who all on here high? I bet that. Bet that. I bet that. Bet that. You know. But yeah. <clears throat> what y'all got up? Anybody uh, chilling, smoking, drinking, eating booty? Well, it's, you know, if you eating booty, as you know, I'm not gonna judge you. You know. I I dabble a little, a little cheek nibbling. You know what I'm saying here and there, so don't, don't feel judged. Don't feel judged, anybody. I'm not, I'm not here to judge you. Just do what you do. You feel me? You feel me? But yeah, <clears throat> I just uh, I just want to tap it until the tree was gone. I got a, I got some uh, some shish. That I gotta handle, you know. I'm 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 glad everybody is fucking with the EP. Who's fucking with it? If you haven't heard the EP, go check out the EP. Uh, <clears throat> if you want to hear the EP for free, it's it's in my playlist on my channel. If you want to tap in and purchase the motherfucker, and you know what I'm saying, so that I ain't gotta you know get twenty thousand of y'all niggas to listen to it to get five dollars. Then, you know, just go up there and click that, you know, that little pinned comment, you know. I promise you it's dope. I promise you. I promise you. Start, start to finish, no skips. Okay, no skips. Straight up banger, you know. Not to toot my own horn or nothing, you know. I just feel like it's pretty dope. I'm loving everybody that's fucking with it. I'm loving the feedback, you know. People telling me what their favorite songs and shit is. I fucks with that. It's a beautiful thing, man. Because I sat there. I, I, I wrote that EP. I wrote that EP with, with fucking COVID, bro. Like, I was sick. Did a motherfucker when I wrote that shit. And then I had to wait to get unsick to record that motherfucker. But I had to wait for my engineer to get back right because he was going through some shit too. So, yeah, man. <clears throat> I wrote that shit. It took me probably like two days to write that EP. And then I went and recorded it in an hour and 45 minutes. Cause I was, I was ready. So I, I'm talking about I'm talking about the uh, the, the, the verses, the, the hook, ad libs, all of that shit on every song, all of them. Hour forty five minutes I was in there. I was ready. I was about to back you ready. Cause I was I, I I just felt like that shit was going you know I felt like that shit was gonna be dope. And y'all tell me that it's dope, so I believe y'all. I trust y'all. 
What's good, Hesmo? I ain't see you in the time, you know, my shit ain't popping up for some odd ass reason. What's good with you? Hmm. Make sure if y'all here, go like that, go hit that like button, man. If y'all here, go hit that. Please. Please go hit that. If you not subscribed, go do that too. You know, we have fun over here. We talk shit over here too. You know, but we don't do we don't we don't do the you know what I'm saying the the, the hate you know it just be some crazy shit around here man I fuck with y'all for fucking with it I nigga crazy was good bro I ain't see none of these see see my shit ain't popping up it ain't popping up with anybody talking to her that's crazy definite sorcery yeah man. No, I'm here for the I, I I can't wait to drop some more reactions, bro. I got some shit I want to do, bro. I want to do the Dev, the new Devin the Dude single. I want to do that shit the day it dropped. I wanted to do the goddamn all uh I want to do a lot of shit, man. I don't like it. What's good, yeah. I I, I, I don't I don't like having to wait for this motherfucking OAC shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, nah, Eugene would, he would definitely disagree with that. And see, I, you know, I don't, I'd be, um, huh? Yeah, I appreciate you. I didn't see no link. I didn't see no link. I didn't see no link. And I got, man, I got to get a goddamn old, uh, I got to get a motherfucker be on uh, a camera because I got, Cause look, when I do the reactions, yeah, the official artist channel, yeah, my shit, my shit ain't one, yeah, they approved it, but now I'm just waiting. But um, yeah, now I'm waiting for that. Hey, can y'all see this? This right here, this this little space right here. There's a wild story behind this right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell that shit too on the shorts. Matter of fact, like I did that other one. I'm gonna tell that shit. Yeah, that shit crazy. Nas or Jay-Z, it depends on what we talking. It depends on what we talking. If we talking, um... I don't know, man. If we talking long jet, I don't know. Now, if you asking, like, who won the beef, Jay? If you asking who I like more, I don't know. I can't tell you, man. See, I hope it don't take a month, man. It said like it said a week to a, to a couple of months. I hope it don't take that goddamn long. Cause if it do take that goddamn long, then I'm just going to just start uploading um, my reactions and shit again. Because fuck that, it's a long ass goddamn time. What up, Infinity? What good, Broseph? What? Honey, what's good in the hoodie? Hey, buddy. Hey, who checked out the new uh, uh, Metro Boom in the Future album? I checked that shit out uh, last night. I, I fucks with it. The motherfucker got some slappers. Some slappers on it. Knee slappers. Some these levels. Yeah. But see, that's what I'm saying, bro. When I did the OAC, they told me that they couldn't approve it because I had non-music shit on there. So I had to take down my reaction videos before I uh, put it in. So I just private it. I didn't. I don't want to delete them. Another. So I just made them private, and then they said it was approved. And so now I don't know if if I upload them while they're going through the process, if they're gonna deny it or like I don't fucking know. So you know, I don't want to try to risk it. But if it take too long, then the risk shall be taken. You know what I mean? The risk shall be taken. What's up, Donna? Uh, 
Honestly, bro, it, it depends. I use um, I use a Muse and I use um, United Masters for uh, distribution. It, it, it depends because <clears throat> sometimes um, my fucking um, amuse me on some bullshit and United Masters won't be you know so you know oh uh, yeah you know you know the Mona Lisa with the I don't know who this is I, I, I just assumed that this was like Angelina Jolie with a, with a sucker I don't know who that is from the, from the bottom down, you know. But, you know. What up, Ghetto Gabe? What YouTube rapper would I want to rap against right now? Uh, I can call it out Dax for the longest, bro. That's, that, that's, that's, who, that's who I want to... Uh, that's who I feel like spanking. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I know she got an actual identity. I know I know this stuff ain't got an actual identity, bro. I ain't got to. Yeah, see, cause um I had applied for it with a muse last year. Like around the time I was still <clears throat> battling uh Knox. And they didn't approve it. So then I went over to United Masters and then I had them do this shit and they got it approved. So I, I don't know. Your, your guess is as good as mine, brother. Hey, got to get blazed, man. See, I know a lot of people love Dax, man. A lot of people, I just, I just don't get, I don't see it. Like, Dax might be the nicest, coolest, chillest, funniest, dopest person in the world. And I would never try to take that from him. But I'm strictly speaking rap-wise. As far as rap, I don't see it. I mean, as far as him rapping, it's just not good to me. Like, it sound like... It sound like music with an objective. And when I say an objective, I don't mean like, you know what I'm saying, like he had a purpose for it. I mean like music that he knows is going to get a reaction, not music that he's actually passionate about. Because I can't see people actually listening to the shit that he makes. Just, just, just be a real man. Like, I, I just don't see it. I don't see it. Some other shit I don't see either. I see that shit. Yeah, I just don't see it, man. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Knox. Like, I was. It's funny you said that shit, bro. Because I was thinking about that shit yesterday. I was like, I was more concerned about how good or bad Knox's rapping was, and less concerned with whether he was lying or not. Like in my head, I'm thinking, oh, that's a lie. But I'm not thinking, oh, what? that's a lie. I'm thinking, that's a lie. But, bro, that bar was trash. That shit was ass. Like, that's how I was thinking. I wasn't even thinking, like, oh, like, it wasn't just sitting in my head. I was like, eh, he, he just went through a whole battle lying <laughs> and, and got points for it. Like, that shit was, that shit was crazy to me. If you talking about on IG, bro, I barely be on there, and I don't get notifications for it, so I don't, I don't be thinking people be trying to talk to me. So when I do go check my messages on IG, it's usually just by happenstance. Happenstance. I want to use that word today, bro, and I got to use that word. What up, Adam? Bro, hey, I'm bro, I'm on one too. You have no hey bro, I I I, I had this idea where the uh, where Ren sent me something where the production and the direction of the song is all his idea and I fuck with it. And then I sent him something where the production and the song direction is my idea and then he jump on it and that way, you know what I'm saying, it's it's like the best crossover. TV show ever, you know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 how I envision it. 
And I'm tell hey, hey man, look. <clears throat> look, I, I don't wanna say too much because you know, I don't wanna talk about some, you know, personal conversations we done had. But all I'm gonna say is bug the shit out of this nigga. Go bug the fuck out of him about doing a collab. Cause I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna I'm not going to waste no time. I'm going to hop on the good foot and do the bad thing. You feel me? You feel me? The people, the reason why people be praising Dax on their reaction channels is because they know it's going to get them views. Dax is, that ra is one of those rappers that makes music that people be like, you know, I normally don't like rap music, but that Dax guy, like, he's one of those. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he he's gonna get that that fan base. He's gonna he he's gonna get that. Like, but like as far as like core, like bro, I've done it like at least like ten different times. Like I done asked random niggas that I know, like, bro, you listen to Dax? And they always say who? Like nobody who's like core hip hop fans even really know who the fuck a Dax is. You know what I'm saying? Like they 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 might say the dude that Tory Lanez pumped. Like they might say that, but like as far as like rapping, rapping, nah, bro. Nah, bro. So f Man, hey, that's if he do. That's if that's if that nigga Michelle show even do react to that shit. I, I think he should. That should be funny as fuck though. That should be funny to the motherfucker. I swear. Cause he, I don't know why, bro. Hey, I, I don't know why, bro. Hate on J Cole, man. I don't get it. Cole is one of them ones, man. Ah, oh, damn. <clears throat> See, it, nah, I don't think it's Jessica Alba. Look, look. I had, a, I had a huge crush on the Albs. For the longest, right? When I was when I was younger, I, this ain't her mouth. I know that ain't her mouth. See, but see, that's my thing, though. See, yeah, about about Eminem's impact, bro. A lot of these people that claim that Eminem fans, they start at Rap God and move up to now. Like they don't know, at, like, and that's why all of them have the same. Like, bro, this is right, real shit. The Crips, the Nazis, the... It, it's a lot of these niggas. They all make the their version of Not Afraid, of Eminem. All of them make the same shit. They make the same, I'm down, but I'm going to get up. The Rising Phoenix, they doubted me, but I'm really... Like, they all make the same type of music, same type of production, same triplet speed flow. Like, it all sounds the same, bro. Like, and that's just how I hear this shit. Like, it's not like, it's not nothing, <clears throat> it's not nothing that you would have to hear more than once. And that's, and see, and that'd be my problem with story records. Like, people be giving a lot of props to, like, storytelling records and shit. And I'm like, yeah, it's cool, but once you hear the shit, you, you don't really need to hear it again. You know what I'm saying? Like you know the you know what the story is. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's your favorite movie, you're not gonna watch that motherfucker over and over and over and over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's gonna be hard pressed to find a, a storytelling record that's your favorite storytelling record over all storytelling records. So, you know, I don't know, man. See, and look, <clears throat> Eminem. If you say, if you if you mean like now in this current climate, I'd still give Eminem top ten. You know, my overall like period in general, Eminem is always gonna be in my top two. Like always, like <clears throat> he's like even if we just talking like in hip hop history, general period, overall. Of all time, like, he's just going to be in my top two. Like, I'm just not even going to lie to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? At least top three. You know what I mean? But, um, a lot of motherfuckers just start biting these flows, bro. Like, and that's why it was so crazy to me that nobody, <clears throat> nobody took points from Knox for literally 
I, I called him an Eminem clone on Crown, and then his own Stan remix, he did Stan. He rapped like Eminem on an Eminem beat and took Eminem subject matter. Like that on any battle rap stage anywhere, he would have instantly started getting booed. Knox would have got booed the fuck out of the building because I, I already called what he was going to do. You don't get creative points because you didn't know I called that. You should have did something completely different. And he didn't. There's not a rap stage in existence that would have that would have said Knox won. Not one. No actual, if this was URL, if we, we could take these same exact bars from his diss and my shit and go on stage in URL, he's going to get washed. The crowd is going is, is gonna to favor me. As soon as we go round for round the same way I call you an Eminem clone and you literally clone Eminem, come on, bro. What are we talking about? <clears throat> what are we talking about? Like, it's not a rap state nowhere. So that's why when motherfuckers be like, you lost. I'm like, oh, fuck, I didn't. What the fuck, fuck if you like him, if you think that he's one of your favorite YouTube reactor, rappers, he lost. I'm sorry. As far as battle rap, a rap battle goes, your boy lost, man. It's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> so, like, people act like losing to me is, like, the worst fucking thing in the world. Like, I'm I'm dope. Like, it's not like you lost to fucking Stagger Lee or goddamn fucking, I don't know, to who the fuck, one of them rappers from CB4. Like, it's not like none of that. <clears throat> Hey, yeah, facts. Hey, yeah, facts. Because, see, hey, bro, but see, you was actually watching the battle. You was actually watching the battle. You said, like, bro, look at look at the numbers. Like, it's, it's proven. Look at the numbers. Knox's disses on me, them stand and the, and, the, and the patiently waiting and shit, they like 80, 90,000 views or some shit like that. Because he got all his little reactor friends to react to his shit and not mine. Go look at mine. My disses is only at like eight, eight thousand, nine thousand, maybe. So how is how does twenty thousand people say that I lost the battle when only nine thousand people watch the fucking disses? Like how? How do you how do you select the winner and you're not even watching the battle? That's this exactly what they was doing. How? How can you say who won and who lost if you didn't even watch the motherfucking battle? And that's why. Knox did the, the shit that he did. That's why when he did diss me, he didn't put my name in it. That's why when he did have his reactor friends, the Stevie Knights and the L Boys react to it, that's why he made sure that they didn't touch my, my shit. That's why he, they made sure that they didn't touch my shit. Because why? Why would he want anybody, why would he want to help put shine on the shit that is beating him? It's easier for him to say he win if he's the only one getting shown. That's all that shit was. Uh, no, Darren, I didn't get mashed by anybody, sir. <laughs> what the fuck did you talk about? I didn't get mashed by anybody. Go, go, go to sleep. We're talking hip-hop here. We, not, we, we talking about hip-hop over here. <clears throat> we, we talking hip-hop about, you know, with actual hip-hop fans right now. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're talking about. Bro, and that's what they were doing, bro. They was not judging. They was not. They was. They was picking who they knew of. They know more. They heard of Knox. They watched Knox's reactions. They've seen Knox's corny ass videos. So that's what they gonna vote for. They didn't know shit about me. I'm this new guy that they perceive as the bully. I'm out here the cloud chasing and shit. And it's easy to paint when you don't know shit about hip hop, bro. It's easy to feel like that when you don't know shit about hip hop. When your whole idea of hip-hop is the shit that like Knox Hill does and you don't know shit about hip-hop because Knox ain't even teaching you shit about hip-hop like that so what are we talking about man <clears throat> it's not a matter of opinion bro it's literally facts it's literally facts you can look at everybody who watched the entire go find the four or five six reactors that actually did the entire battle they all say either Knox lost or it was a tie. The only ones who say I lost didn't even watch the whole battle. So how does their opinion even matter? What are we talking about? We got to be factual here. We're not, we're not talking about feelings, emotions, who, who is your favorite. Right? None, of that, none of that matters. It's about facts. 
Yeah. You, like I said, you can look at them numbers. One has one is getting eighty thousand something views on this one. Mine is only getting like nine, nine. To, and, and see, and that's what. And look at it. And, and this is another way I can prove it. Look at it. When I battled Ren, go look at my diss track. Go look at the views on my diss to Ren. It's at it's at the same amount of views that Knox's diss tracks was to me. But why is that though? Because when I battled Ren, Ren didn't hide it. Ren promoted the battle. Ren posted my diss track to him on his page. He promoted the battle. That's how you battle. That, that's how you go about it. Ren did it the correct way. Ren didn't hide it. He put my, he bro. He put King Dada this in the title. He literally did everything that you're supposed to do in a battle. He directed it. He put an address on it. He promoted the motherfucker because there's not a battle rapper in the world that's like, yo, I got a battle rap on Saturday. Watch me. Motherfuckers don't know who you battling. Just watch. This is what Knox, that's all Knox did. I'm battling. I'm battling. Who you battling? I'm just battling. Don't matter who I'm battling. I'm battling. Like, that's not how that shit works. I'm like that's not that's not how that shit works. Like and that's why and that's why I said what I said about having the respect that I have for Ren. Because the very first thing Knox said when he seen that I dissed him was, I don't give out no free clout. We don't give out no free clout. That was the first thing he said. The first thing Ren said was, let's do it. And who is way better and bigger musically. It's Ren. Ren had less of a reason to do it than Knox did. And he still did it. He had way less of a reason. Knox, Ren had way far less of a reason to engage in battle with me than Knox did. But Ren still did it. For hip-hop. For the culture. On some hip-hop MC shit. Like you're supposed to do. He literally flashed the whole battle everywhere. Dead ass. Literally. <laughs> so what are we talking about? But I, but people want to talk about it. And that's why if a motherfucker be like, oh, Ren beat you, I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue with you. <clears throat> you know, I feel like it was a debatable battle. I feel like it was a debatable, but if but that's the thing. I feel like it was debatable. So if you feel like I lost it, then okay. That's, that's, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. All right, cool. But you you can't say that with with, with Knox. Because Knox didn't win shit. Knox weaseled it in, into a battle box, acting like he didn't take shots, and got his people trying to believe that that kill shot shit. Well, there ain't no much, ain't that much coincidence in the fucking world. Ain't, no, ain't, ain't that much coincidence in the world. None. Like I like I, I, I like I'm sorry. Like I, I I I'm just not that naive for me to feel like that. Like it's all of that. All of that. You say my name. You say my nickname. All in the same. And you supposed to be a lyrical genius. All of this shit. You think you're a lyrical genius, but y'all don't believe that that was intentional. Come on, man. What are we talking about, bro? Facts. That's why Ren get all the respect out of that. That's why, bro, he did it the right way. He And it was almost hard as fuck to write the diss track because I didn't have to think of uh, Ren as somebody who's ducking the battle. I don't have to think of Ren as somebody who was scared of it. I didn't have to think of Ren as somebody who talks that rap shit but is scared to back it up. I didn't have to think about that. I, I didn't have that as part of ammunition at all because he was just like let's lock like you can't call somebody pussy if they take their shirt off and they're ready to lock like in your face like let's go like shit what's up like you can't you know what i'm saying like you can but you're gonna look stupid you feel me and <laughs> like what are we doing and that's my problem with the hip with the with the hip-hop shit bro that's that's why i fuck with a red top do with the little with his videos and shit because it be facts. Like we can't sit here and keep giving people props for just existing. Like like I don't understand that shit. We can't give Knox props just because he fucking responded. He responded and he engaged in battle. Cool. But he lost. And he did it in a sucker ass way. Like there's no and, and, and if you go look at any time I talked about uh 
anybody who reacted to my shit in the battle in comments, I always say the same thing. In all fairness, make sure you check out Knox's shit too. I don't want nobody telling me that I won and you ain't listening to his shit. I want you to have a good grasp of the context. I want you to have uh, the whole full picture before you even tell me what you think about it. I'm not, I, don't want, I don't want you to tell me who you think won and you only halfway through the fucking battle, even if it's just me, even if you just saying you think I, I don't want you to tell me that if you didn't listen to Knox and shit, don't tell me that. Cause you now you now you dick riding. We, we, we that's not what's gonna help progress hip hop. That's not what's gonna help progress people actually, you know what I'm saying, wanting to put their pen to the test. That's not what's gonna help that. You know? So when we do shit like when I say shit like, oh, uh, Knox is too scared or or Knox didn't want to put my name in the thing. See, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Let me spit another fact to y'all. He put Benzino's name in his diss to Benzino. Why? Because Knox was figuring he would get more clout from dissing and battling even though he knew Benzino wasn't going to reply. Actually engaging in a battle with somebody who, who can smack the shit out you on this motherfucking microphone. Like, that's it. But y'all still gave this man props. Like, it, it's, like if, if it was all some complete other shit, bro, I wouldn't even be saying shit about it. But uh, it's just facts. Like, dead ass. This man, when it's, when it's, when it's, when it's uh, advantageous for him, he's going to get on this motherfucker and diss somebody, put their name in it, all of that. You know what I'm saying? But then when it's something that's gonna, you know, have him sweating, he don't, he ain't want to put that up though. You know, you like I said, you can go look at our shit. He don't have data anywhere on any of his titles on anything. Nothing. Nothing. And then when he had Stevie Knight react to his shit, what Stevie Knight steroid sucking ass say? We, uh, uh I'm not even gonna say little buddy name. I ain't even, we ain't even gonna say little buddy name. We just gonna let Knox do what he do. Like, who the fuck watches a battle like that? Who in the fuck watches a, that's like dead ass, that's like, like dead ass, that's like watching a boxing match, but you put your hand up trying to block out one fighter. Like, you trying to block out whatever one fighter is doing just so you can focus on the other motherfucker. Like, this shit is weird, bro. Like, this shit is weird, bro. That shit is just in, 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 incredibly Sucker, you know, bro, Stevie Knight. And you know what's crazy is because I had, I had, bro, I had all the respect in the world for Stevie Knight, bro. Like, I dead ass was watching the fuck out of Stevie's reactions, bro, all of that shit, bro. I reached out to that nigga to get this nigga to do a reaction, bro. That nigga is on Indie Amplify. Uh, I think it was like 400. I think it's like 400 for a reaction for him, is what it said. And I messaged this nigga about it and it took him like two and a half months to reply and was he said so I'm just paraphrasing and he said something like um uh, my bad it took so long you still you know you still trying to get that yada yada and so I replied and I replied within the same day because you know I'll be on my shit so I replied in the same day and he never replied and this was before the battle this is before I called him out on any motherfucking thing that he was any of that this was before all of that I'm like damn you ain't trying to make no money and then the next thing I know, this nigga reacting to somebody who dissing me, <clears throat> and he talking shit. And I'm like, oh, well, I ain't never been on your head like that. L boy too, L boy. That shit was corny as fuck too. On his video, <clears throat> like, like, check this out. How you react to Knox's bat diss against me? Go look at my page so you can go tell the people on the video how many followers I have. But you don't go react to my shit. Who the fuck is these people, bro? And that, that makes sense to y'all? That I mean, I, like, come on, man. And see, I still rock with Shaq, honestly. Like, I, I ain't had no issue with Shaq. Shaq ain't never tried to, like, you know what I'm saying? And Shaq is aware of me. <laughs> like, like Shaq know who the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't never did no weird old shit. Like, he, and I done disagreed with some shit on him that he done said before, and it was just that. Like, it would never know actual, like, he got into his feelings type shit. So it's always been, you know what I'm saying, cool as far as I feel. 
You know what I'm saying? But it's all the other ones who want to play weird and man, that shit is it, just crazy to me. It's just crazy to me the way that motherfuckers paint a narrative and then just run with the shit. Like yeah, like come on, bro. Like and then motherfuckers won't even ask me. <laughs> they won't even ask me because I give them the truth. I'm gonna tell you just straight the fuck up. They won't even ask me no more. So all of this shit, you know, you know, like it. <clears throat> I don't know, man. Yeah, they still be yeah fucking uh just uh that, and that's why I started firing on Cliff again. Because uh, a couple, what was that, like a week and a half, two weeks ago, he on his live talking about King Doodoo with some bullshit this nigga said. And that's my issue with Cliff. Like, bro, come on now. Like, I, I, like bro, come on now. The shit that Cliff says is only believable to people who just don't know no better, bro. Like, I swear, if you have zero uh, idea about how music, the business works, labels, any of that, contracts, any of that shit, if you have no idea how none of that shit works, then the shit that Cliff be telling is probably believable. But if you know any motherfucking thing about it, then you know that nigga is cap. Cliff is not a ghostwriter. Like, let, let me ask y'all this. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me just paint a scenario for y'all and tell me if this makes sense to y'all, okay? So you say you're a ghostwriter. Which already, by definition, means you don't have to prove that you wrote some shit. Cool. Cool. That's your cover-up. You ghostwriter, that's your cover-up. Fine. So, anybody else who ghostwrites or has ghostwritten, who does record music, has their own music. So, you mean to tell me that not only do you make money doing something on one hand, ghostwriting, that you can't prove, but then you tell everybody you have an NDA that is keeping you from proving that you can write in general at all. Like, where is your music at? Like, who in the fuck? There is not a single, bro, there is not a single artist and a smart one. Let me see this. There's not a single intelligent artist in the world who would sign a deal that would keep you from being able to write and record your own music. So you mean to tell me all you wanted to do was write for other people, even at the risk of you not being able to write for yourself, record and make music for you under your name, get your publishing, your songs, like none of that. Like you signed that away. That makes sense to people. Also, they keep saying the NDA. Bro, what is this NDA? Do y'all know what an NDA is? An NDA keeps you from speaking about one specific thing that is in that NDA. What does that have to do with him writing his own music? What does that have to do with him writing his own songs? None of this shit makes sense. Like, none of it. None of this shit makes fucking sense, bro. It's all lies, bro. It's fucking cap. You're a ghostwriter, so you can't prove it. But then you sign a contract that makes you not be able to prove it at all. Like, write something. People be dissing you. People be dro like, di drop something. And here's another thing. Here's another thing. Even if he did sign a contract with a record label that says he couldn't release any motherfucking music, that's only for that fucking record label, bro. This nigga can release some bootleg shit on YouTube and not have it monetized if he wanted to. But why doesn't he? It's because he can't rap. It's because he can't rap. I'm not even... I don't even know. Is somebody in here talking shit? I'm not even... I, my bad, y'all. But I, I'm sorry. The, uh, if it's somebody in here talking shit, and uh, they, they, they can lick my dick hole. But what I'm saying is... We got, like, people dead-ass online lying to motherfuckers who don't really know no better. That's why I said you lying to your fan base. That's why I literally said that tonight. You lying to a fan base of people that don't understand. People who really know this shit know you capping. They know this is a lie. They know it's fake. Like, my ups and my downs have been all in y'all face. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not about to cap. You know, what I'm saying? and and I've actually proven that I've ghost write, written. Like I have other, I have other people that can prove that I've Michelle show can can tell you that I've ghost written 
for some for motherfuckers before. Red Top can tell you because I've sent them the motherfucking proof. I've they they've seen it. I'm not gonna hide it. I'm not gonna be like a cliff. Like I'm gonna find some way to make sure motherfuckers know that I'm not gonna cap, even if I'm not gonna put out there what the fuck song I wrote or none of that shit. Cause that's nobody's business. But I know them niggas ain't gonna tell that aspect of it. But they're gonna tell you that yeah, they got the proof. Where is not where is where is where is, where is Cliff at, man? Anything. Michelle, it is you. Alright, well yeah, yeah, they were still talking. And I don't think Knox Bond's rap was trash. I think Knox Bond is a southern rapper. And and, and I'm gonna say this, like I said, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Just just like if it was the homie, I'm gonna keep it a motherfucking buck. I think he needs to not do East Coast production. I think his style is more catered to southern uh hard hitting production. Like the the BPMs and the, the, the cadences he would have to rap on on uh, East Coast production and shit. I don't think he I don't think his style really lends to that. You know what I'm saying? I think he's more of a um I think he's more of a southern like, you know what I'm saying? But that's just me. I, but like I said, he has bars. He had lines. Like we we can't say the rap is trash. I can't say it. Because if you was to read his rap off a piece of paper and had no idea about the production or the flow or any of that, you'd be like, oh, okay, there's some clever bars. But you might not like his delivery. You might not like his production and none of that. I don't know, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The rap is, this is the raps itself was trash. And see, and I'm real, real, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm surgical with the way I look at it. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, his shit could have been on, man, look, if he would have did something like, uh, I don't know. If he would have did something from the South, man, I, I can't even think of a well known Southern diss record. If he would have did something like Stomp, Young Buck, and the Ludacris joint, if he would have did something like that, like Stomp, I think that would have catered more to his flow. But I think what he was doing was the Eminem shit because that's what Knox and Cliff be dick riding. So I think that's why he did that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that Cliff Ben shit was funny as fuck. I was cracking the fuck up, bro. I was cracking the fuck up. Like, I, I don't know, like, I, I'm, not, I'm just not going to hate just, you know what I'm saying, for no reason on somebody. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, that season of beef bar. Hey, now nah, look, look, that season of beef bar was strong enough to make me disregard whatever other weak bar he had. You know, because he had strong bars in that motherfucker. He had shit like I said. It was just his delivery because of the production. When you have to try to keep up with the production, and that's why I like URL battles. Watching URL battles because there's no beat. You know what I'm saying? Like if he would have just did that shit acapella, it probably would have hit way harder. If he would have just did that shit a cappella. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times trying to keep up with that beat and that pace will have you jumbling or <clears throat> it's not giving you time to emphasize the punch like you should because you're too busy trying to make sure you're staying on beat. So, yeah, he that, that, that's just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to say the boy is trash because if I was to feel like he was trash, I'd feel like I wouldn't, that he had no redeeming qualities as far as his actual... Uh, writing and performance, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, something like how Ren did it. Yeah, like like if that's what he would have did that shit. Yeah. <laughs> She's anonymous. That's funny. Hey, yeah, man. I, yeah, I'm gonna have to find. I'm gonna have to find out who she is, man. I'm gonna have to find out. I'm gonna have to find out. And do some. Some Google researching or something, you know. Yeah, Knox Hill is definitely Knox Hill is. Listen, 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 listen. When it comes to Knox Hill rapping, I'm, I'm gonna break this shit down. We're gonna talk about this. When it comes to Knox Hill rapping, Knox Hill raps like he learned to rap from a step-by-step how-to-rap course. 
Like, it's really, like, cookie cutter and bland. Like, there's nothing personal about his, like, it's like somebody put a uh, rap in, like, chat GPT and shit, and then that's Knox. Like, make me a white rapper, and then that would be Knox. Like, the, like the, and, with, and with the other Knox, I'm going to say Bond. With him, it sounds like his style is his style. Like, I, I, I haven't heard anybody with his voice. I haven't heard anybody with his type enunciation. Like, it's a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, that, that's, that's a combination. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, bro, and then Knox can't find a pocket for shit. Like he'll have, he'll have a, a three rhyme setup, and then completely switch it up on the fourth one. Like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? Like, you done started a whole other one, and you didn't even make that first one potent enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird, bro. He knocks raps like he's trying to teach somebody how to rap. I rap like this is how I rap. I'm not trying to teach anybody how to rap. I'm not trying to teach anybody how to. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not what that is. And see, that's what I, bro, and I said that before. I said Knox is the perfect example of if uh, those who can't do teach. Like, I'm all cool with his, you know what I'm saying, the reactions, whatever, even, even though I swear to God, I, I feel like he he watched these like three or four times before he recorded his final reaction so he can catch everything. Like, but uh, <clears throat> with that aside, him being good at that is cool. But like as far as him making actual music is it, is crazy, man. As it is crazy. <clears throat> I'm working on it, man. I'm working on a red collab, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. He's busy. He's 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 busy shitting on everybody on YouTube right now. I gotta holla at him when he gets off the toilet. Alright? I'm trying to holla at him. You know? It's good. I got you. I'm working on it, man. <laughs> I'm working on it. You know? But uh shit. The uh Yeah, the we <laughs> Bro, you can't tell. I'm about to roll up again, actually. Is what I was planning on doing. Is what I was planning on doing. Hey, so what's crazy is I got an ounce of this shit like yesterday, day before yesterday, bro. I'm probably down to like shit, like six grams at this point. Wedding cake. I'm on that wedding cake, man. Wedding cake is 30% THC. The Terps is 4.3. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? But, um... Uh... See, bro, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I don't fuck with the carts. Like, it's too close to... Uncertainty for me, bro. Like... Here's my, like, like, I right, say for instance, like, if motherfuckers was smoking these carts for, like, 50, 60 years before I was born, cool, you know. But these things is relatively new. So, I don't know if these motherfuckers is going to turn y'all niggas into Ninja Turtles in the next 40 years or not from smoking them now. But I don't want to be one of them. <laughs> I don't want to be one of them right now. So I just stick to the trees, bro. I barely fuck with the edibles, man. Like, I barely fuck with the edibles. Like, dead ass. Like, and I barely fuck with the edibles because, bro, I don't know my tolerance. Like, I sit there and eat carts, carts, yeah, the, uh, like the weed vapes. The weed vapes. See, it's only it's only really accessible here like this because this because we got dispensaries and this every state ain't like this, and some of the motherfuckers be hating. Well, some of the motherfuckers be hating, but Oklahoma we 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 got it cool. All I had to do was tell these motherfuckers that uh, I had no appetite, and I got my weed card. Just living by can and, and then I lost my weed card like uh, probably like a year ago, but. Uh, 
my dispensary lets you show them a digital card on your phone. So I'm good. I'm good. You know? Well, weed and guns really ain't the problem. It's, 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 it's money and guns together that's the problem. You know? Uh, I, you know, the, the potheads and I know be chilling. The potheads I know be chilling, chilling. You know? But I'm not that shit, though. Like, it's been a lot of... I don't, I don't do a lot of shit that I... Like, bro, I'm t when I tell you I was wild, bro... When I tell you I was wild... So when motherfuckers be on here talking about, oh, you know, you, you figure it's 50 shit, shit, like, I don't know what the f Y'all know what the fuck that I laugh about now, nigga. Y'all know what the fuck I laugh I, I got some stories, nigga. I, but I tell you, I got some stories I can never tell you motherfuckers, actually. You know? <laughs> Ain't a gummy once was stuck on. Nah, see, look, nah, this, is what, this is what had fucked me up. I had went to the dispensary and got me a pack of, um... It was uh, infused uh, flaming hot Cheetos, and I think the pack it was probably like a two hundred milligram pack or some shit like that. And you supposed to eat, I think it said like five Cheetos. So I ate like five of them, and I was chilling for like two hours, bro. Nothing happened. I'm like, I don't feel this shit at all. I don't feel this. Eat these. I'm about to eat the rest of these. The five of them ain't working at all. Then the rest of these motherfuckers, damn sure, probably just gonna get me. Bro, I ate this whole pack of Flamey Hot Cheetos, right? About four hours later, bro, I made peace with the fact that I was about to die. It was, <laughs> I made peace with, I was like, you know what? This is it. I'm gone. I'm gonna fall asleep and I ain't gonna wake up. I'm going to fall asleep and, you know, that's okay. I'm going out how I wanted to, high. Like, I was, like that's how high I was. I, just, I knew I was dead. I was like, I know I'm a boy. I was like, never again. Never again. <clears throat> I, thought, I thought life was over with. I dead ass was like, you know, I, when my eye, I was laying there, eyes closed, like, I'm about to go, uh, Meet somebody, shit. I'm about to go meet somebody for the first time ever. Shit. <clears throat> you know? But yeah, man. The, uh. I see, uh, uh. See. We talk about power and money and shit. I, you know what? Uh, Hasmo, that's a very interesting question. Uh, I don't know if, like, <clears throat> I don't know if you meant like smoking weed or not, because uh, weed, weed isn't a drug. But uh, <clears throat> I, just to give y'all some insight, I have not written a song sober in about eight years. Every single verse, bar, song that you have heard from me, it was high when I wrote it. And I was probably on the toilet when I wrote it too. Yeah, just being honest. I have a process. I have a process. You think weed is a <clears throat> do, do y'all consider weed a drug out there, Hasmo? I'm just curious. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm not banging on you thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, <clears throat> or when or or when people call um or when people call weed dope. They're smoking that dope. That'd be annoying the fuck out of me, like bro, this shit is not no damn dope. It's do it is dope, but it's not dope. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's legal here. Yeah, it's definitely it's legal in this state. It's legal in uh, Vegas. <clears throat> if it was legal in Atlanta, that's where I would be at. So that's where I needed to be legal at. Because I don't, <clears throat> I don't went to jail for weed twice in my life. 
it is annoying and it blows your high. I promise you, it blows the fuck out of your high. Like the last time I went uh, to jail was because I was in the car smoking weed with somebody. I was in the car smoking weed with somebody. And you know what's crazy? Is when I was down there in the, uh, in, the, in the precinct getting booked and shit. Motherfucking police gonna tell me, why you ain't just smoke the weed in your house? And I was like, my kids was in there. I didn't want to smoke around them. I'm like, well, shit, would you rather me smoke around my kids or go outside and smoke? And only get another, uh, uh, only get another adult high. That's what I was thinking. You know what I mean? But everybody don't think that. Mmm. Starbucks cups is aerodynamically trash, bro. He said it's illegal everywhere I am. <clears throat> Why you can't hang? Is it because I'm rolling up drugs? <laughs> but now nah, I appreciate everybody who fucking with the uh, album though. DMT. See, I'm not that down. You know, I've done I've done shrooms a lot of times. Actually, I've done shrooms. Um, my thing with shrooms is, bro, it, uh, and I, I Googled it. It's a normal thing. I don't know if it's normal for it. It's, uh, it can cause stiffness, bro. And that shit make my motherfucking neck. Body B, how you be? All right, so the first time I took shrooms, bro, it just felt like I was really, really hot. Like, I like I'm, I'm sure it's different for everybody else, so I'm gonna just speak for me. When I was on shrooms, just being like just like walking around, watching TV, whatever, it just felt like I was on some real, real strong weed. But if I focused on something, then shit start getting weird. Like I was sitting on my bed and I was looking for my charger cord, and then I seen my charger cord. And then something made me just stop and stare at my charger cord. And while I was staring at my charger cord, it started dancing. And that's when I knew that the shrooms was working. Because my motherfucker, my cord was like, ah, pop lock. Ah. That motherfucker was pop locking this shit. I was like, bro. Yeah. I'm jealous, Andy McBandy. Oh, no, you good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you meant you can't hang right. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because I done heard stories. Like, I done heard, like, the homie told me that he seen, uh, he seen elves snatching the carpet fibers out of his floor when he was high. He said, all over the shrooms. He said he was laying on his bed. It was just watching the motherfuckers snatch up carpet fibers. And, um, and, and he said it was taking them to up on his bed. So, you know. Yeah, hey, oh yeah, see, yeah, 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 yeah. DLM, yeah, see. And it makes colors way better, bro. Like, Hey, like life is HD already, but it's more HD off shrooms. Like it's way more like the reds is redder. The goddamn the sky is sky eater. Like that ass. Yeah. Alright, so it depends on who you talk to, man. For me, like cause people some people do like the, the candy bars and shit. I, I don't really do the candy bars. I take I eat the strip shrooms. And to me, it tastes like you ate a handful of unsalted sunflower seeds. Like a big ass handful of unsalted sunflower. Like that's what it tastes like to me. Like it don't taste nasty. It just tastes like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, bro, I be playing I be playing uh Mostly Call of Duty or like Mortal Kombat and shit. I like games where I can talk shit to people off. 
I'm competitive. That's fuck. Why you can't do it, Vani? Ah, I'm gonna hook you up. Hey, Vani, yes, let's room it up. I promise you, you'll love it. On God, let's room it up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, bro, I'll be on that PS5 and be trying to serve motherfuckers, bro. I be on, I need to get on, but I ain't been on, uh, I ain't been on Mortal Kombat since they added, what's that nigga, the bald-headed pale dude, uh, Quai Ron, Quai, Quan Chi, yeah, since they added Quan Chi, Quan Chi, I had on there since then, but I played Call of Duty yesterday for the first time in like two and a half months, and I got on there. And I won on uh, hardcore uh, free for all, first place, and then I got off. I was like, yeah, they they still trash. Everybody still trash. I ain't even played this game in two and a half months, and I came in here and spanked people. Ain't no motherfucking, ain't no way. I like Call of Duty, man. I love Call of Duty, man. Yeah, Call of Duty is crossplay. Yeah, Call of Duty is definitely crossplay, bro. Hell yeah, I'll be gaming, nigga. What the fuck you... <laughs> Bro, listen, listen. I'm going to tell you. Gaming is what stopped me from kicking in niggas' doors. <laughs> Dead ass. Chilling at the house, getting caught up in video games. That's what stopped me from doing the stupid shit I was doing back then, bro. Dead ass. I have played Titanfall 2. I have Titanfall 2. I, it's not downloaded on my system, but I do have it. And I played it. I played the campaign. I, ne I never played multiplayer. I didn't play multiplayer. I played the campaign a little bit. A little bit. <clears throat> but I don't even play the... Uh, I don't even play the Call of Duty campaigns. Boy, I'll be on GTA. Bro, hey, listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. My motherfucking GTA account got wiped. Like, uh, like in January, bro. And I've been work I've been working my ass off to get my motherfucking oppressor two back so I can get all this motherfucking grief the shit out of people. But that shit is like six million bucks on there, bro. Bro, I be bro, I be nobody wanna nobody ever be running one around heist heist on GTA, bro. Nobody. I be trying to run motherfucking heist and get some bread out real quick. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's Michelle or Michelle A. I don't know. I'm so sorry. But I, I'm not even seeing all of the comments. I'm just, I'm just bouncing around. My focus is trash right now. Now, I've never played Destiny. I have not played Destiny. I haven't played Fortnite. I haven't played... What's that shit that everybody playing? Hell something too? I ain't played that. No, I was talking about I was talking about it in the chat. Michelle, okay, it's Michelle. All right, all right. See, there we go. Man, bro, see, my thing with Fortnite is, bro, the, them third, them third person games, bro, they should be annoying, bro. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like first person, bro. That's what my heart is. Okay, okay. It was it was the it was the lack of the double L that confused the fuck out of me. I apologize. You shall be Michelle forever. You have ninety four million on GTA Online, nigga. I have probably like six hundred thousand on, on GTA Online, bro. I right, Raymond, deuces to you, my guy. <coughs> I might get off here in a second too. <laughs> Cause I'm starving, like Marvin. A cabinet ain't got no jaws in. Man, the only third person I can fuck with is goddamn GTA, bro. That's it. Other than that, I can't really fuck with them, bro. Other than that, I can't really fuck with the motherfuckers. Bro, hit, bro, 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 bro. First of all, <clears throat> I was I was playing Smash Ultimate up until like a month and a half ago when my fucking Switch got broke. So yeah, man. I 
What do you be? I didn't know that that was a thing. I didn't know you could even give people any money. I didn't even know that you could do that. I didn't know that people can spam you with money, bro. That's not some shit that I even knew was a fucking thing. Anubis, what's good, bro? I'm sorry I'm late on the E motherfucking thing. Vonnie, you still here? Because you talk about an edible put you down for two days. You're not going to be able to sleep off no motherfucking mushroom. Let me tell you that. You ain't going to sleep off of no motherfucking mushroom. That's what you're not going to do. That's what you're not going to do. Ah, see, but I, I can't even fuck with mods and shit. I'm on PS5, bro. I don't have a um, uh, a PC. I'm I'm only on PS5 and Xbox. I don't, but I don't have GTA or Xbox. I only got it on PS5. I don't even be on my Xbox that much. All my better all my better games is on my on, on the five, the P5, the P5. Oh, what's cross? Oh, uh, GTA. I didn't know GTA was crossplay. <clears throat> That's what I didn't know. I didn't know that. That's kind of fucked up. See, man, <clears throat> I can't do the game and PC shit, bro. They game and P man, it's too much. Oh, okay. I was about to say, yeah, I was saying, I knew Call of Duty was crossplay. <clears throat> he said Frogger. Damn. Damn. I mean, what shit? I mean, I started on Super Mario. So, I mean. Boy, that's the type to help people cross the street on GTA, bro. That's the type that'll call the police on you on GTA, bro. Man, but it's all good, though. It's all good. Hey, man. I'm about to go find me something to motherfucking eat. I love y'all. Y'all dope. Hey, man, I've heard. Hold on. I put my, um, I put my, my, what's my gamer tag in the, in the damn thing. I don't know if, you know. Y'all can add me up. That's I'm, that's where I'm at on PS5. Add me up. Uh, fuck with the album if y'all want to. Ah, all right. I'm gonna look into that, bro. I'm gonna definitely look into that, bro. Hell yeah. Hey, Amen. <clears throat> Thank y'all. Thank hey, yeah. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get on here. Probably get later today because I want to talk more about the EP. Or I'll be getting on there tomorrow around the time. It's more catering to everybody. I'm like, hey, man, look. Look, hey, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hey, yeah. No, I got, I got some shit popping. I got some shit. I wish I, man, I want some EP reviews, man. I'm... I'm I'm supposed to have one with uh with uh with vibe. I'm gonna see what's up. I gotta get some more reactions, man. But yeah, yeah, man. Other than that, man, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all for you know what I'm saying. Rocking with me. Go check out the EP. The link is is tagged. The the, the playlist is is in the motherfucking uh on my channel. That's where it is. You know, appreciate y'all, man. Love y'all, man. Hey, real shit. Thank you, Paul, man. Thank y'all, man. Yeah, sir.